guys, it's Target Stripes and welcome to a tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get mods for Minecraft Java Edition. And if you have any issues, just stay till the end and I'll go through some common problems you guys might have. So you're gonna need two things. First of all, Minecraft Java. Java Edition is not Windows 10, it is not mobile. So it doesn't run on tablets or phones. But if you do wanna see how to get mods on phones or tablets. I have a video for that linked in the description down below. And then the second thing you're going to need is Java and you may already have that. You can go ahead and search your computer by pressing Windows key and typing in Java. If it comes up with Java, you have it. If it doesn't show anything for Java, then you don't have it. If you don't have it, you're gonna need that and I'll show you how to go ahead and get it. It's super easy and it's completely free. So to go ahead and get Java, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open a browser. And then once we're here, we're gonna go ahead and type in Java. Uh, the first link should be java.com and it should say download Java free software. If you can't find it, I'll go ahead and have it linked in the description down below. We're gonna accept cookies and then agree and start free download. So this is just gonna make it so that our mods are able to run. Once it's downloaded, we're gonna click here and then click install. It will go through this, it shouldn't take very long at all. Once that's finished, it will go ahead and open Java setup and it will go through here really quickly. And then it will say that you have successfully installed Java. So we can go ahead and close out of there. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open Minecraft and then go ahead and sign into your Minecraft account if you haven't already. So now we're going to go into installations and right here, we're gonna click new and we're gonna call it mods. And here we can choose our version of Minecraft. So since we're installing mods for 1.15.2, we're gonna select that. But if you're installing mods for 1.14.4 or 1.12.2 or any other version, then you would select that version. Now we're gonna click create, and then we should see it right here. And when we go on play, we can click on this little arrow and click on the new profile we just made. Now we're gonna go ahead and click play to open up our game. Now once your Minecraft's open, you can go ahead and double check that you are running Java Edition because if you are, it will say right here in big bold letters, Minecraft Java Edition. <laughs> um, and now what we're gonna do is we're going to go and we're just gonna minimize this and then open our browser again. Now my favorite website to get mods on personally is CurseForge. Their mods are like super easy, super clear, and there is like a next to none chance that it's going to give you a virus or corrupt your computer in any way. Now you can go ahead and click on mods. You'll see all sorts of mods. Anyway, I'll have the website linked in the description if you're curious. Now the mod I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate for you guys is Macaw's Furniture. It's an incredible mod by the most lovely mod creator. So you can go ahead and check this mod out. So we can go ahead and go over to files. And here you can see the different downloads of the mods and it's listed for the different versions of Minecraft. So it's like 1.15.2 or 0.1 and 1.14.4, 1.12.2. And then you can go ahead and download that. Since we're getting it for 1.15.2, we're gonna go ahead and download the 1.15.2 option by just clicking the download button right here. So your download will go ahead and start. Then it will ask you if you want to keep the file because it can harm your computer. Go ahead and click keep. It's not gonna harm you, it's not gonna hurt you. If you wanna be safe, you can check with a virus scanner, but it's gonna be fine. And then the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and download Forge from files.minecraftforge.net. It should be the top link if you type in Forge and it will be linked in the description down below again. So here on the left, you can see all the different options for the versions of Forge. And since our mod and since our Minecraft is 1.15.2, we're gonna go ahead and select that one as it already has done. A super important thing to remember is that the version of Minecraft you open in the beginning and the version for the mod that you download and the version of Forge all have to be the same. So you open 1.12.2 Minecraft, you get a mod for Minecraft version 1.12.2 and you download Forge for 1.12.2 or you do it all for 1.14.4 or all for 1.8 or all for 1.15. Whichever version you choose, all three things, Forge, Minecraft, and the mod have to be for the same version of Minecraft. Otherwise it just will not work. And then it shows download latest and download recommended. In this case, we're going to go ahead and download recommended. For certain mods, you'll need latest. It's a lot of experimenting, but usually you can go ahead and test it with the recommended. And if that's not working, you can try it with other versions. So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to get installer. Now it's gonna take us through an ad page. 
please don't click on anything except for the skip button. And then down here, it will automatically start our download. And once this download is done, again, it's going to ask you if you want to keep the file. So you can go ahead and click on yes, keep. So now you can close out of that. And what you're going to want to do is go ahead and open your file explorer and then go ahead and click on downloads. And here you're going to have both the mod and the forge. So at this point, you can double click on forge and it will pop up with this. Go ahead and leave it on install client and then you can go ahead and click OK. It will just go through this and it will automatically install it. Once that's finished, it will say finished and successfully installed your forge. You can go ahead and click OK. Now, if you want, you can go ahead and delete both the installer and the forge. Now we're almost there. We just have to open our Minecraft up again. Click on options, resource packs, open resource pack folder. Now this will open a folder that, that at the top will say roaming Minecraft and then resource packs. So we can go ahead and click on dot Minecraft. Now you can go ahead and exit out of Minecraft and here you're going to see a bunch of folders and different things. So don't mess with any of it. Just click new folder and if you don't see that option, you can right click new and then folder. Now name the folder in all lowercase mods, so M-O-D-S. If you name this wrong, it's not going to work. Now you can double click on this and the folder is going to be empty. So you're going to want to drag your mod that you downloaded into this mods folder you just made in your .minecraft folder. Now once it's there, you can go ahead and close out of both of those. And we're going to open our Minecraft once again. Now before you actually open open it, right here, it should automatically have created a profile called Forge and then have it listed down below. But in case it doesn't, you can go ahead and click on installations. Click on the profile we just created a minute ago called mods. And then under version, click on the Forge version. So it's going to look just like this one, release 1.15.2, except it's also going to say Forge. So we click on that and then we click save at the bottom. Now over in the play tab, we can go ahead and click here. And again, you can see that this is now the Forge version. So now we can go ahead and click play. And it's going to look like this. Don't be freaked out. Don't worry about it. It's okay. It just means that it's getting the mods ready and then your Minecraft will be open. Now down here at the bottom, we can see that it's Forge and that it says your mods are loaded. So we can go and click on single player, create new world. You can name the world whatever you want. I'm gonna name it mods because I'm super creative. Uh, and then we're just gonna go ahead and put in creative and click create new world. Now, once you're in the world, you can go ahead and check your inventory. You'll see that whatever mod you just installed should be there. Now, keep in mind, some mods go ahead and have the blocks integrated in here, but either way, your mod should be installed. You can go ahead and play with it. This mod, I love the decorations for, they're so pretty. Fantastic furniture. Now, if it's really laggy, we're gonna go ahead and go over some quick tips and tricks to help that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to options, video settings, and then turn down your video settings. So put your frame rate at 60 is usually good. You can put your graphics at fast and go ahead and turn your render distance down quite low. So you could put it at four or five just to see if that helps. All these little things are going to go ahead and help your frame rate. Now, another thing that's going to help a ton is adding more RAM and I'll go ahead and explain that and show you what it means. So basically adding more RAM just lets your Minecraft use a little bit more of, I'm gonna just call it computer power. We're gonna go with it. So if you go ahead and click on start and type in RAM, you should see a thing called view RAM info. Click on that. Right here, it will say installed RAM and it will show you how many you have in gigabytes. You're probably going to have either four or eight there's a chance you'll have two or 16, but that's pretty unlikely. So go ahead and remember whatever number you have. In my case, it's eight gigabytes. And we're gonna close out of that. We're gonna open our Minecraft again, and then in installations, click on mods, the installation that you made, and then click on more options. Now under here, you're gonna wanna be really careful. Don't mess with any of this stuff because it can really mess it up, except for right here. It's going to say XMX, 2g that's saying how many gigabytes of ram you're using typically you're gonna want it to run on half the amount that your computer has so for instance my computer has eight gigabytes of ram so we're gonna want to upgrade it and instead of saying that it should run on two gigabytes replace that with a four 
So remember, just take the amount that you have, split it in half, and then put that here. And then usually it will be a whole and typically even number. So we can go ahead and click save and then click play. It also might even help it open quicker. And if it's crashing while it's trying to open, that can sometimes be an issue is that you haven't allocated enough RAM. So you can just go ahead and try to add more RAM. Now back in game, it should be a little bit smoother and it should run a little bit better. But that's about all for this tutorial. I hope it helped you. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to check the description down below. And then also, if you want to get mods on your Minecraft or your phone or your tablet, go ahead and I'll have a video linked in the description down below for that too. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped you and I'll see you all later. Bye!